fucking chair. Okay, everyone. Uh, welcome to a first of my tutorials. Uh, this one today, we're going to be building this, which is a uh, vertical signal cannon. It's uh, an idea I came up with. I was originally uh, planning to do a Hunger Games map when the uh, film came out, but uh, I had a few problems with it, and uh, it ended up being a dead end. So, uh, but I needed the way because in the books and in the film as well, there's a cannon which signals the death of a uh, tribute. So I was trying to f find a way to do that effectively, and I came up with using a vertical cannon. I had lots of different plans. I even came up with a uh, semi-automatic cannon, which was quite fun. But uh, but eventually I came up with this, which is a reasonably new design for me. I've been working on it a while. And it's based off of Ethos 360 cannon, which is a, a very cool thing. I, I will link it in the description, hopefully. And uh, it's it's a good cannon and it's very effective but this cannon's less of a war cannon like that one is it's more of a uh, it's more of a signal cannon which is what the primary use for it was originally going to be so um i'm going to show you how to build it uh in this tutorial today but first let's uh give it a test fire so you fire that off all that bottom stuff goes off then it goes up and then it shoots up all the way up, really high, like the highest one was just about here, thereabouts. So that's quite a uh, quite a reasonable height there, which is a uh, sort of a good thing because uh, after I I decided because they're going to make the second film, the uh, second book into a film, I've decided to make the second book's Hunger Games map, which is a lot more interesting and complex than I. I think I'll have fun with that and I'll record major parts of it as well. So um yeah, that's it and I'm just gonna show you how to build it. So first thing you need is a ten by ten uh base to work from. It's uh I did it out of stone, you can do it out out of whatever. It doesn't really matter. You can do it out of leaves for all you want because it's not going to take any glass damage because of the uh water that's included. So you want a ten by ten one. And then you want to uh, cover the outside here with hash slabs, which would be very good. Which is uh, basically, like you can see here, it's going to hold in the water, which is what you want. So, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the next thing you want to do for your uh, thing, for your cannon, is to build up two blocks from a uh, the water here. So one, two, and then that third block is going to be the height of the primary ring. So that's going to come round and it's going to come inside the water here. And it's basically going to be a ring that's uh, one less than uh, than the base slab. So just got to build it up. And then once you've done that, you need to go in another one and then build a ring that follows one block inside like this. So if you don't know what I just did there, pause the video and have a look at this. Should uh give you some idea. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is to put blocks in each of these corners. And we're going to leave the redstone till last, because that's uh, the easiest part to do. The next thing you want to do is to build out a little platform. I do it uh, four blocks, but it doesn't actually need to be much more than two. So uh, it can be as big as you want, really. It depends on uh, what you're putting there. Like this could come from your house or something. I don't know, whatever your plans are. And you also want to put another block uh, just... There? Yeah, there. Another block there, another block there. Then you want to put a torch on top of this block here. Block there. 
torture on the side. Okay, we're not going to get into the redstone quite yet. So we're going to put that one there. We're going to put five out. Two, three, four, five, six. Six blocks out. Five there. One, two, one, two. Two, not that one. Okay. And that should line up with the center ring here, which is good because we need to build another one. So that's going to go there. That's good. And now we're ready to start doing the redstone, so give me a second. Okay, so the first one thing we're going to do is to rig up our trigger. I should have also said we need to put another block here. And on here we put a button there. You can put another button there. It doesn't matter where you put the button. Really, you can have it here. You can have it on here if you really want to. It doesn't actually matter. But uh, that's what I'm going to put it there. Uh, you put a redstone dust there. You don't need one on top. It'll still carry. You need a redstone dust there and a redstone dust there. So this will send the signal up, which is important. But also, we put redstone dust around here, and this is going to set off the uh, propellant TNT. And that goes all the way around there, which uh, leaves us with only the upstairs to do. I'll just explain quickly what happens here, because you might... Well, we're going to have TNT here and here, and... As you can see, the redstone is adjacent to all the TNT blocks that will be placed. Hello. And uh, so, doing that is the most efficient on resources. Best way I've found, anyway. So, next thing you want to do after you've towered up here, you want to put redstone dust here, here, uh, here, and here. And then again all the way around on this inside thing. Well actually you don't need it all the way around. You can leave uh, this this back row here. It doesn't need to be filled up. We're going to do it anyway because we're cool like that. And uh, after that all the other spaces up here pretty much. Actually we need to put redstone dust there. All these spaces up here get filled with repeaters put to four ticks. So repeaters on four basically all the way up to this one which we set to two mm, and I've done a lot of experiments with this and this is the best way I've found of uh, the timing so that's pretty much it that's all you need for the cannon and uh, this makes it easy to load you can load pretty much from this level completely but we're going to do something else as well uh, just before we do fire this off. It's more of a safety precaution than it is anything else, but I like to do it anyway. And also, I think it lends it a certain look. It's to put a little barrel around here. My texture pack, by the way, is the OCD texture pack, which I'll put a link to in the description. I guess. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much. That's it. That's it. Ready to fire. So. Uh, just got to check my timings, make sure everything's set, and when you're ready, press your button. Hello, you didn't quite go as far as I expected. I have no idea what went on there, but uh, should work now. I haven't changed anything. Yeah, that's it. That's what we like. So you can see it actually goes pretty high, and it's uh, effective for what I'm going to be using it for on the Hunger Games map. So uh, look forward to me. All the systems I'm going to use on the Hunger Games map, I'm going to do a tutorial of, I've decided. So uh, there'll be something to show you guys, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I will see you next time, uh, next video I do. Uh, I might do a KSP one, but I need to do a bit of prep on it first. But yeah, I'll see you around. Bye.